in a global marketplace, how do we ensure that the Indian aesthetic survives? Um, and we'll start with you. You left this country 30 years ago? 36 years ago. 36 years ago. I left India when I was 18 years old to go work in America. And fashion, when fashion was really, I mean, uh, yes, fashion existed and there were no schools in, Ameri in uh, India. So I went to study in America, uh, which I didn't end up studying in America. So to just to give you a background how my family has been making embroideries for almost three generations, close to 100 years. So that's tradition. So how do you keep that tradition alive? I mean, this was my father's dream that when I go to America, that I would still keep what's being made in India and make it relevant to the modern world. And that's where I, I started working for Halston. And today, in, what I make is modern, but still traditionally relevant, which is acceptable to people who wear my dresses in, in, in around the world from America to Japan. So, but when we were talking, I asked you, I said, does your Indian heritage play a role in design? And you said something very interesting. You said, not my Indian heritage, but my Indianness. Um, do you want to sort of talk about that a little bit? Of course. I mean, you know, what I know in fashion is predominantly from India because I didn't go to school. So to me, my Indianness is, it comes from the way I grew up the chaos of India, and chaos, what I mean is the color chaos, the embroideries that we all love, the colors that are so, when there is no inhibition of mixing these amazing colors, which everybody in, in the world studies colors, but in India, it just comes naturally where you're taking turquoise and mixing it with pink or orange, and it, it's, it comes naturally to us. So that's my Indianness. And that actually comes from either it be food or it be theater or all that I grew up with looking in India, the architecture. So all that affected me. So today what I design has come from my life in India.